I mean, I think one thing I've thought a lot about, like, why were you were able to be like, I mean, I'm a group of people who like, I knew very few of the people on the team. I think I'm the second oldest person on the team, not, or I'm the second oldest graduate, not the second oldest person, but in terms of the class years, um, I think there's only one or two people who graduated before me. And I think in that, and there's like a lot of, there's a lot more people who are more recent grads or who are so new each new people. And I think it actually feels very impressive to me that like we wasn't just that we were remote, but we didn't know each other. And I think one part is that like there was a lot of trust. And I think some of that came from the fact that we all had a similar edu engineering education and a similar background. And so I think we could trust people to like think that documentation was important. And so like there was a general sense that we were going to stop early if that meant that we had really good documentation. Um, and I think we trust that we would all get things done when we said we would get things done and both people did do that, but also um, I think it was all like a trust that that would happen. Um, and I also think that we like found time to like enjoy each other's company. And I think that's also one thing that I've thought about it as I've like tried to form other remote teams in this moment where everything has to be remote is that like actually like having time where we're going to like play games after a meeting, you know, play like Pictionary after a meeting, online Pictionary after a meeting is actually really important to us working well as a team. Um, because then you also, you build that relationship and you care about people. Um, and I think that that's really important. So I think it's both the like, there was like a common understanding and a common education in some ways in philosophy around engineering. You know, I don't think this wasn't, it also what didn't feel like we were, we weren't competing against each other. We were like working together to get as far as we could. And there was also a real understanding that we were all doing this volunteer and most of us had other jobs. And so if someone, so there was a lot of understanding of like, okay, what can you do in your time that you have um, and realizing that like, you know, I feel like Susanna and Astrid were working probably a full-time job at it, but the rest of us were doing the amounts of time that we could, um, and that, that all that time together was enough hours to get it all done, but there was not an expectation as an individual of, like, you didn't do your hours, um, which I think is really great.